everyone and I'm back with another video as you can tell I'm still a little bit sick but I'm pushing through and I gotta upload some videos so in this one I got some more items from banggood.com after I uploaded my last banggood haul they sent an email asking if I want to get some more items and do another video so I was like sure and these are the items that I picked out so the first item I picked out is this super basic white 36 watt UV lamp and when I first started doing my nails, no, well not when I first started, when I first started I had that really cheap pink and white 9 watt UV lamp and then I upgraded to the 36 watt UV lamp and, <clears throat> excuse me, I used that for years. Then I switched to the Melody Susie um, black UV lamp or something and the only thing I don't like about that lamp is it's like a two-step UV lamp and that means on the back you have to flip a switch and that turns the UV lamp on but the lights aren't on yet then you have to press another button and that is what actually turns the lights on and I don't like that I have to reach all the way behind it and turn it on it's just it's annoying so I wanted to get a UV lamp that's just one button it's on I don't have to reach around strain out my arms so that's why I got this one and the first one I had lasted me years and never had a problem with it so I was like yeah I'll give it another go and here is the top of the UV lamp and this is where the controls are on the right is the on off button and you press the button forward to turn the lamp on immediately and then you press the button back and hit the red timer button and I believe the lamp has a timer for 120 seconds. I wanted to show you what the inside of the UV lamp looks like. It has this really pretty reflective silver like quilted texture on the sides and the top of the UV lamp and the base is actually it's silver too but the blue you can peel that off but I'll peel it off whenever. And I thought it was really pretty. I've never seen a UV lamp that has that quilting type texture so I really wanted to show that and as you can see there's a little bit of the I guess it's like an aluminum tape type thing. It's starting to lift a little bit but it's no big deal. Um, so just wanted to say that. The next item I got are these black swatch sticks where well, they're actually called like nail display sticks or something but I always call them swatch sticks because that's what I use them for. I swatch on them. So I wanted to get these because I always hate having to apply a black gel polish to my clear swatch sticks, apply the gel top coat, then rub on the powders. So I got these in so I got these black swatch sticks to cut out the step of having to apply black gel polish to my clear sticks. So all I do is I rough up the surface and I apply a no wipe top coat, cure it, and then I rub on my chrome powders or the color shifting powders. These black swatch sticks are a tiny bit smaller than the clear ones. The surface that you apply the polish or the art or whatever to is just a tiny bit smaller, but the length of the stick, the actual stick that you hold is, I would say around an inch smaller. And the next item is this black 3D gel. If you watched my last video, which was the 3D Freddy Krueger nails video, I think it's what it's called. Um, I actually made my own 3D gel and I got that idea after I received this black 3D gel because I got this a couple of weeks ago. And I was just going to order a white one but it would take forever to get here and I needed it to be here before Halloween so I could do my nails. So I made my own in that video. But anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to get this one because I have an idea for some like 3D reptile nails. So that was the main reason why I picked this out. And the next item is cuticle oil. Cuticle oil is so important when you're doing your nails, especially if you're doing acrylic nails because you're doing a lot of filing and sometimes the acrylic liquid might get on your skin a little bit. It's not supposed to, but sometimes it gets on there a little bit. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, but especially the filing and sometimes the the file will rub up, blah, blah, blah. sometimes the file will rub up against the skin and cause that like ashy look, like Ashy Larry. Um, I love that show. Do, do y'all remember Chappelle's show? I love that show, Ashy Larry. Um, 
But yeah, sometimes when you're doing acrylic nails, the nail file will rub against your skin and give you that really like white ashy look. So after you're done with your nails, cuticle oil is so important. And the one I've been using is, I think I got from Nail Supplies US, and that's the, um, the pineapple cuticle oil, and it smells so, so good. But the bottle is so big, I think it's like a four ounce bottle, it's like this big fat round bottle. It really gets in the way, so I wanted to get something, a bottle that was a little bit smaller. So I'm a little on the fence with this cuticle oil. I like the bottle, I like the dropper, I like the consistency or the um, the thickness of the oil. It's not a very thick oil, it's not super thin. Don't have a problem with the actual oil, it's the smell. It's, I don't know, it's like, it's trying to be orange, but then it has like a chemical orange, sort of like that Goo Gone stuff. I was like, not like a natural orange, it's like a chemical orange smell. It's not terrible but it just doesn't smell like a true natural orange. I don't know, it's just like orange mixed with motor oil or something. It's not really that, but it's just that's just what it reminds me of. So I'm not super crazy about the smell. I do love how well it moisturizes and the thickness of the oil though. So with this haul, I wanted to get some nail art essentials and the next item I got is this pack of 10 nail files. Now I'm not sure what the grit of these are. They're definitely not 100, 180. I think they're more so just like 180 possibly. I'm not really sure. They're quite coarse and I would never use these on my natural nails. You never want to use a super coarse file on your natural nails. So what I use these for is if I'm really trying to thin down the surface of the acrylic and if I'm shaping the sides of the nails. So that's what I use these for. The next two items are not nail art essentials, but there's something that I thought they were so pretty that I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have those. So the first item is, I wouldn't call this holographic because it sort of is, but it's see-through, so it's really not holographic. I would say it's more of like an iridescent rainbow pencil bag, and that's what it is, but the website says it's holographic, but it's not. Anywho, it's iridescent. And I really liked how this looked. Obviously, I don't really use pencils. I'm not in school anymore. I don't draw and all that stuff. But I'm not going to use it for that. Instead, I'm going to put in some cuticle pushers, maybe some nail scissors, some different things. And I'm going to keep that in my purse. Like if I'm out somewhere and I need... Oh, and nail clippers. I didn't show me putting nail clippers, but that's something... Every time I'm out, it seems like I chip a nail. I've got a hangnail. I've got something that I need to clip. And short of ripping the skin all the way up into my knuckle I'm going to put some nail clippers in this bag I didn't show it but I'm definitely going to put some nail clippers in this bag because that's something I always need but I never have with me so the next and last item is this truly holographic purse now I won't be using this as an actual purse because the purse I do have is quite large and I like to carry a bunch of with me so I definitely won't be using this because it's too small for that but I like to have it like sitting on my nail table or my makeup table or just to put some extra nail art stuff in it um yeah I just love how it looks I had to get it the only thing I'm not too crazy about it is the chain it comes with is like a gunmetal gray I believe this would have looked so much better with a silver chain 